What's going on, fam? You already know who it is. I am Young Black Man. Come back at y'all with another video. Uh, today is Relationship Tuesday. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, on this channel, something new we're going to do in 2019 is attempt to try to make a video every single day uh, with a different topic. Uh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch either my previous video or the video right after this, depending on when I publish this one. And you kind of get a chance to see exactly what I'm talking about. But today is Relationship Tuesday. And the title of this video is... 65% uh, of the approach, the interaction, or the relationship is energy, having masculine energy. And the whole thought process that I'm referencing is a video called Who Looks Better? And basically, uh, if you don't know, YouTube has, excuse me, YouTube has this trend that's going on uh, where uh, people are going out to malls, college campuses, whatever, asking their peers or asking complete strangers to rate them for one to 10 on a scale of looks, one being bad, 10 being great. Uh, or how they look based on the outfit or whatever they decide to do for that day. In a video that I saw with two brothers, blood brothers, almost if if you if somebody asked me without even knowing the context of the video, I would think they're twins. Uh, who looks better? Which brother looks better? And at no point in time in this video to uh, uh, you know discuss the looks of anybody. It's just talking about the perspective of energy and how it correlates and how people even can sense it or feel it. Now, again, the uh, the video, I'll give you a little bit of information. These two brothers who look exactly like, almost like Drake twin brothers or little brothers or whatever, went to the mall, asked ladies, like, uh, how they look, which brother looked best. And almost each and every uh, sister in the mall chose the younger brother, I believe it was. It might be the older brother, I'm not sure. But I know one of them was wearing red, one of them was wearing black. They chose the brother that had the red uh, track suit on. And almost each and every one of them did it besides one or two. And then I got thinking in my mind, I was like, hmm, I, I think the video got sent to me or, or something like that. And I was like, hmm, that's, that's, that's crazy. What made them choose this person over this person? And what I understood was, uh, or what I got out of it was, the energy was different. Now, again, you can look at the thumbnail. As y'all can see, I'm on one today with the, with the thumbnail. The brother's, uh, the brother's something that looking in the camera. The sister looked madly in love with the brother while he's sitting up there eating his cornflakes looking in the camera. I don't even know where that thumbnail even come from. I just saw it on the internet and I started laughing. I was like, man, I got to use that thumbnail in a video. So I thought that was hilarious because she's drawn to his energy. Even as he's doing something as simple as eating his cornflakes, the sister is drawn to his energy. Every single interaction that you do, every single approach that you make, every single relationship that you have is about masculine. I mean, it's about energy. And for you as a man, the perspective is to have masculine energy. Uh, she has feminine energy, you have masculine energy, and you all are there to help complete each other. I hope uh, is my goal or uh, is my uh, hope that each and every uh, brother, you know, ultimately uh, find a great sister, settle down, get married, uh, build a great legacy and all that good stuff. And I, but for you, from the perspective of trying to help, we're going to try to help in every single facet of life on this channel. 65%, I even probably even say maybe even go up to 90% in some cases, probably even 100% is about the energy that you put out. So it's not that the brothers look so much, that, going back to the video now, context of the, of the video, and I'm going to leave that video down in the description box below. Definitely take a look at that once you finish here and you'll understand where I'm coming from. It was not that the brothers look so differently uh, uh, different. I think maybe one looked a little bit different, but they both look the absolute same. But the reason why they chose the other brother was not because of, you know, he had red in his beard or something like that. They chose the brother to me because of the perspective of energy. They felt his energy was just a little bit different. And the other brother never saying, you know, trying to compare the two. He might have had a cold that day. He might have been off, uh, you know, uh, might have been uh, uh, the left the gym, might have been physically tired. Who knows? Uh, so we're not doubting the brother's skills. We're not saying anything. But I do find it from the perspective of people pick up on your energy. And if I could take anything away from that video, and I even think if the brothers were here uh, with me talking today, they would even say the same thing. If you can pick up anything from this video and use it as a learning experience, not so much as, use it as entertainment, I guess, too, but if you're using it from the perspective of a learning experience, look at how your energy comes across. So it might be that, you know, you're in a relationship or, or even you don't even know, you see, you know, you're on college campus and you see a beautiful sister uh, and you're like, oh man, today's today, it's my future wife. And you might get rejected or the end of that, she might not go as smooth. Check your energy. How are you coming across? How are you projecting your energy? Are you having a masculine frame? Again, we're talking about the perspective of mannerisms, being that first part of the of the word is man, uh, a rhythm, and being like how are you interacting, how are you, how's your behavior, where are your hand, where's your hand placement, where's your eyes, are you making good eye contact, are you have good vocal projection, are you standing up straight, is your posture good, you're not hunched over, lean back, you see what I'm saying? How are you dress, how are you talking, how are you carrying yourself? Those, all those things matter and those things count. 
masculine energy again is not some fake facade and I, again that's why i did the um that's why i did the video talking about uh uh basic traits or like basics of an alpha male because a lot of youtube channels give you what the definition is and then everybody try to go fake what it is but no masculine energy is something that's automatically within you but you have to improve it it has to project more and simple practical ways so you do that is hitting the gym you know reading books uh, 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 you know, building uh, uh, better uh, thought processes and, and, and creating a legacy for yourself and all these things will give you confidence. Confidence is something that you can't fake in front. Eventually, whether you get mad or get sad or, or just want having an off day, eventually people are going to be able to sniff out that fake confidence. But you having real confidence in yourself, knowing that you are a brother of the most high, that everything that you do say and touch will be prosperous and that you're a good man, a good character of good works. Then at that particular point in time, you're going to have a certain air, a certain confidence about yourself. You're going to be able to be grounded in your masculine energy. You're going to be able to have better energy and, and better uh, uh, awareness of yourself and others around you. And that creates such a, a, a great vibe and energy and such a great, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Such a great uh, uh, personal uh, 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 changes in your life that you're going to develop and hit those new levels and hit those new levels of growth. And even when things and you think that you finally hit the ultimate level of growth, you're going to know within yourself that you're just confident with yourself. You're going to know that, you know, I know how to do X, Y, and Z. I know how to be a man. I know how to take care of, 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 of you know, myself from the context of, you know, kids going to the gym and, and just being, uh, volunteering your time towards the cause that you're passionate with. I don't want to go on a rant. But you say, well, how all those things relate? They all relate because ultimately, uh, masculine energy being grounded in masculine energy, being truthful in your masculine energy, uh, just being the best man you, as uh, the OG uh, Max said on Best Man Made, as we know boys are born, but men are made, you being able to do the things that you're passionate about, being able to create uh, the life that you want to live, uh, even from the perspective of, you know, going to school or getting a trade, doing whatever, you're going to see that your life will begin to drastically change as you self-improve. And self-improvement is a continual journey of going forever. You even self-improve when you pick up a book, when you read the newspaper, when whatever you're doing to create knowledge and create better awareness of yourself and stuff, all those things help with improvement. So I thought about that. I said 65 of the approach into action relationship is about masculine energy, having that masculine energy, mannerisms, good body posture, just being able to communicate uh, and so forth. And coming from a victor, a victor mentality, never having a victim mentality, never having a uh, uh, self-conscious or, or, or afraid. Now, again, we all had those days where, you know, where our confidence might not be the highest, our energy might not be the highest, and you don't hate to chuck those days off and say, hey, what can I do to make this day better within myself? Then you might have to take a step back and, and see what you can do to, to build your own energy up, to build your own self up. What can you do to make your day better? You know, how can you decompress and, and remove negative thoughts from your, your head space or from the space within you so it doesn't consume you? All those things. But again, on days, every single day, we should be grounded in our masculine energy, grounded in our truth, knowing that we are men uh, and that the most I put us here for a special purpose and reason, our, and reason for living. So every single thing that we do and say should be grounded in masculine energy and in truthfulness. And even the brother eating the cornflakes, she didn't love the brother eating the cornflakes because even then, him simply doing something as simple as eating, uh, she sees uh, a, a great... Uh, leader, a great um, uh, energy within him. And that's even from a regular day perspective. You could just be walking, just got on a pair of uh, a button up uh, polo shirt or whichever have you, pair of khakis and shoes. I kid you not, people have stopped me and say it's something about you. It's something about the way they carry yourself. It's just something about you. You know, you know, man is always good. Me always talking well. And they say stuff like that. Like it's something about because they feel that energy. So, I don't know. I just thought about that. Like I said, again, that's just a small video. That's just a little sample of what you're going to get on Relationship Tuesday. We're not going to do nothing crazy. Of course, on this channel, like I said, again, you know, it's for everybody of all ages. And we're just talking and having a great conversation. So, we're not never get into nothing too crazy. But I definitely thought that that could help in some way. And, uh, yeah, definitely. I'm going to leave that video down in the description box below. Definitely go watch it. Uh, and definitely, y'all have any thoughts, comments, concerns, or questions about how to masculine frame, better posture, and so forth. Plenty of videos on YouTube. Definitely come back on here, and we'll definitely tackle it and talk about it again soon. So peace and blessing to each and every one of y'all. I am Yanni, my black man. I'm coming back at y'all with another video soon. Peace.